went through what we now have as a completed and proven line, product line that's built to a quality, quality standard. Uh, so with, with any, uh, any new product, it all starts with the Gator, the Gator story. And ours really evolves from folks and families and friends retiring into the North Woods, adjusting to the long, cold winters, and working the forests. So here's some pictures of us up around the Lake Tomahawk area, um, moving logs to process wood and build cabins and make firewood. Uh, we, we work together to make that happen. A lot of lumber, a lot of wood. Okay, life's experiences for me were with grandpas in the, uh, the farming, cattle crops, the rental tool business. So I learned a lot about equipment and machinery. I learned about moving things and what tools were effective for us. Um, also got involved with construction, concrete, wheelbarrows and wheelbarrows of gravel and concrete. How many of us had a kind of tip over with a wheelbarrow at one point in time that uh, was uh, not pretty and we had to start from scratch? Outdoor, uh, outdoors in North Woods, I've always had a passion for home improvements and do-it-yourself gardening. Um, then I moved on to engineering uh, in Madison. Actually, my roommate back there in the uh, in the back, Tim Plunk, and I were in Madison at the same time. So. Welcome, Tim. And uh, I, I practiced in engineering, uh, uh, helping troops to get uh, moved into unfriendly territories with ammunition, supplies, and equipment, building heavy trucks for, for the military and the fire rescue. Out of all these experiences, bits and pieces came together, and a common thread was followed. That was to improve things, we must move things. Okay, so thus, Gator, the green adaptive transporter, is conceived. It really comes together with two notions. One is uh, an age-old concept, and second is a prehistoric survivor, the crocodile or the alligator. Well, by, by looking to configure or reconfigure the age-old concept into the 21st century, by being able to remove the tub, this is Dad's old wheelbarrow, he wasn't too happy about me at this point, uh, removing the tub, at, putting two wheels on for balance, and then leverage to move, uh, move things, when I looked at the, the, I always had a passion about crocodiles, I didn't want to get near them, but uh, they had that nice big mouth with the strength to lift, the teeth to grab, the power to perform. So uh, basically, to move things, we have choices. We have powered machines, and we have human power. Human power has been around a lot longer. Gator is the green adaptive transporter, which has become my main purpose. Uh, that is, to offer a new 21st century innovative hand transport tool that gives people more power, more productivity, and more possibilities. Why? Uh, well, for decades, the concept of effective, easy to change attachments has been refined with the power and equipment, like tractors and skid steers. So opportunity, there are no heavy duty human transport tools out there uh, that work with easy to change attachments. Attachments that are uh, affordable, that, that produce easy, and that store small when, when they're when they're not needed. That's, that's half the battle is having a garage full of equipment uh, does not allow you to get your car in the garage, most important thing, but being organized and having that available uh, at the time you need it is important. So the, the Gator Evo evolves further, uh, separating two notions, uh, uh, starting with and, and separating and optimizing the design around the mover. The, the, the opportunity to move something from point A to point B. You need wheels, of course, you need leverage, you need, you need handles, grip strength, and, and human ergonomics. Uh, the, uh, the movement then, if you separate that from the tools, uh, basically a wheelbarrow is designed to move aggregate earth, loose things like sand, gravel, but you can't really do a lot of things with the wheelbarrow beyond, beyond that. I mean, it, it, it's awkward to move long and heavy things with, with the tub. So make the tools attach effective the same way. The all-purpose transport tool is specifically designed to empower people to move more, offer more possibilities through easy to change attachments, which we'll share with you later. Um, offer innovative pro level quality for the home do-it-yourselfers. Uh, and then get every job done, allowing you to get every job done simpler, safer, and sooner. <coughs> So the gator is, a, is like a chameleon that changes to the job at hand with the bite strength of, of a saltwater crocodile. I guess a crocodile has the, uh, the highest pounds per square inch bite at about 37,000 pounds. Uh, it works large, like a tractor, adapts easy with no tools required, 
and it's sort of small, like a bowling game. <coughs> right so all these are, are attachments that fit into the gator. Now we'll look at the different types of elements and the, and the answer to the question, can you move the 600 pound, how do you move the 600 pound object? And we'll so it here. Well, the, the gator is logger, our rock and logger is, is there for wood processing, moving large and heavy objects. You know, probably about uh, just shy of a thousand pounds there with an ash here at, at about 1,100 pounds. Uh, you can you can unearth, move, lift, and leverage and balance so that you number one your chainsaw doesn't get dull by by cutting into the earth. You're up above that. So now that we're done with the logging, we move into uh, being able to adapt to rocks, moving rocks in and out of the landscape scene can sometimes be a daunting task, especially when there's shrubbery in the way. There are times where you need to get off the tractor seat to, to move things. So the rock and logger kind of comes in handy for that. Now we have uh, have the obstacle of moving into our driveway. How many are good at backing trailers? Okay, okay, we have one, we have one So moving into my driveway is about a 100 foot long stretch. I just like to drive right down the end of the driveway. I get my, my, my trailer trolley attached and I'll put it in the gator. I rotate the uh, trailer around. I'm unloaded by the barn door. I'm ready to, to go for the next load. So the trailer trolley comes in handy. It's just a feature of the gator. Uh, the yard dolly attachment. The yard dolly attachment is a multi-purpose um, attachment for gardening, farming, hunting, and landscape. Um, basically, we have small farmers, or organic farmers that are moving feed uh, into their, uh, their nursing areas for their animals. Uh, even their, their small children are participating. Uh, working uh, in the landscape side, the dolly is good for moving heavy things like rocks and, and uh, ball, balls with trees. Um, so basically, the dolly comes in handy. The, the, the unique thing is we have uh, we have matching components that fit directly into other components. The dolly and the tub work together. We call this the workmate. So we can we can lift more uh, with the with the tub. It works larger than an average wheelbarrow. It has stability. You can feel about 100% uh, stronger moving a load of rocks like that. And then you can move them backwards by by being able to pull with reverse grip handles. Our mulch situation, we go to a 10 cubic foot tub. Okay, so now with two more wheels, uh, we get we get four to work up, work with uh, with more. Um, so this time of year, of course, is a busy time for the planting situation, uh, the gardening, the home gardening, moving plants around, moving shrubs around, the trees around for the farmer, and might be moving hay into their into their uh, farm barns uh, or fence posts out to the uh, pasture. Uh, but basically now we can take this two-wheel uh, gator and turn it into a four-wheel uh, gator to, to, to do more. Then the end of the year, the last season, of course, we get a lot of snow around Wisconsin. Uh, the, uh, the snow plow attachment fits nicely into the front of the gator and allows you to get the driveway clear out. This was back about, uh, about two months ago when we had this white stuff on the ground yet. I can usually get the driveway cleared out before Lori gets crimped to go to work. So a couple of, couple of seconds, something down the driveway. Uh, so, and then best of all, while the gator offers the functionality of every moving tool, it takes up less space than any one of them. That's, that's going to be key, because now we can store, this is the full console that you see here on the floor. Now it's probably taking up about a, a 12 by 12 area. It, it stores, no kidding, about uh, 16 inches from, from the wall, allowing you to get your car out of the garage, all of this does. And, Best of all, I can break it down and fit it in the back of my Prius. So it, it, it works large, it has easy, and it stores small. Attachments are more affordable. They store smaller, they have easy, and they organize <coughs> the cars back in the garage. Um, here gives you kind of an example of the Gator with uh, the three three most uh, key elements to, to outdoor and land transport would be the, the wagon, the wheelbarrow, and the dolly. Same thing, competitors approach the wagon, the wheelbarrow, and the dolly takes up half your garage space. The car's got to be parked outside. Gator, you can get in the garage. Gator cost is going to be representative of about half of what we would have if we had a, a, full, a full professional grade device. So, from the back end to the back 40, through every season and any day setting, the Gator gives you the freedom and the power to bring your vision to life. Gator works large, it has easy, and it's sort of small. We can be called at GatorProducts.com uh, and uh, 
that's that's it. Am I on cue? Okay. <laughs> Tim, but uh, this looks like uh, some stuff that uh, maybe Lori, you're the female in this. Yeah. Can you show us or demonstrate maybe a few things? Can everybody yeah. see? Otherwise, you would uh, come closer than that. But. Um, actually, I'm, I'm a real outdoor enthusiast, so I have been Tim's uh, tester of everything to make sure my size could do whatever he wanted done. Um, that big log you see up on the 600 pound to 1,000 pound, I can pick it up with the game. So it is just phenomenal. Um, it's easy to use. Uh, this is like you have seen on the uh, slideshow. This is the rock and logger. Everything that fits into the gator has this yoke system. So that's the easy adapt feature of all the parts. And how it works is you slide the tongue end up there and then on. <laughs> but basically, it, it's uh, you know, here we go. There we go. Yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs> but uh, so it, it's really attaching uh, components the same way every time using the yoke bar mechanism. This is a part of the patent along with the reverse grip handles and the leverage of the car. And so, the dual axle location. Yep. What Tim had done here, he, he had the fancy uh, gear. Uh, gnarly gator picking up the logs and that was not uh, very cost effective to make and actually uh, unsellable due to the fact of the danger. I mean those teeth on there were very sharp, you know, the map and technique. What he did here, this is the skeleton of that same gator. It's just the skeleton of it. But what he did here when he created this is he made the, it, uh, the ability to pick up the large boulders and rocks. So he has a, a, a he can remove this rubber nubbin for the rocks and replace it with the sharp tip nose tooth for the wood. So it became twofold. Awesome. So from there we're going to take off I was just going to say okay from there I'm just set this aside. And once again the yoke. This is the trailer truck. So you're done with that Function, put on the front, and you can go haul your trailers, snowmobiles, ATVs, CDs, whatever, around, utility wagons. From there, I am going to put in the yard dolly. This is fantastic because um, Tim had listed a few items that uh, people can. Uh, use this functionally for, but you can pick up anything, even uh, toys. <laughs> but um, yeah, just put that on, now that's on. And uh, to go to the tub, to attach the tub, this is a seven cubic foot tub. Um, this also adapts to a 10 cubic <coughs> foot tub, which is really large, very promotion stuff. And how this work made, because that's how it goes together. It's in there. We do pin, we can pin it here so that if you're manhandling it around, it's not going to pop out of place. Very simple. That. Next, we are going to convert this into the uh, four little parts. Who's so there? And what Tim has done also here is these three items you don't lose because they're reused. So this will be reused once you. Uh, these are not in there, so they hold tight. Gives you stability. And from here, we're going to slide the back caster assembly in place. He's used um, square, square keyholes and carriage bolts so that you don't need any wrenches to hold it in place to tighten it down. So with a minute, you have, that go right to you.
very heavy duty. I guess you get a workout when you do this as well. <laughs> My little muscles can do it though. <laughs> and this is not the lightest, I must say. And um, it's not a detriment though. It's heavy duty and it's going to do the job, heavy duty jobs. Locks into place the same way. I got a promo cart. With that cart, you can hook it up to your lawn tractor or ATV. We've had this out in the woods with our ATV, picking up loads of trees and, and whatnot. It does work well over it. doesn't have to be flat surfaces. It's, um, so. And there's accessories that can go into this. The wood sides fit in and they're captivated in. There's no, there's no fasteners required. It, they, just, they just fit together. Uh, we have a, a tool toe that fits right in here. Just, just slides into place. Again, no tools or loose parts. So uh, this is really kind of the, the the key items to what we do today with Gator. There are many other attachments that are in the works. Lots of people asking about exciting attachments. And yeah, we can do that. We can do that. But we need to get to this business thing. And uh, this is where we are today. Yeah. So how much for all of this? Then? Right now with the uh, G4. Uh, we call it the G4 four, four wheels, four adjustments. If it, uh, it also works as a two wheel. But uh, basically everything that you're seeing here today uh, is right now uh, retail listing for, it's, it's $1,279.